wonderful people, it's Miss McHalian. As you can see, well one, I'm just dressed like this because it was chilly today, but two, I love being cozy. Three, my house has changed a little bit from that Thanksgiving decor and I am in full swing into the holiday mode. My beautiful tree is here, compliments of my lovely sister Megan who came over and decided she was gonna decorate it, which is awesome. I even have a little friend, a little weenie dog there, who reminds me of my little Jaspi, my weenie on wheels, who is helping to decorate the tree. So I am all ready to go for the start of the month of December. Talking about the start of the month of December, I want to remind you guys that typically if we were in school, what we would be doing at this time of year is beginning our annual tradition of making Christmas cards for the families of the Ronald McDonald House and for the children of the San Antonio Children's Hospital. Now this year, things are a little bit different. And while I still want us to remember that there are families who need that extra love and that extra support during this time of year, we can also give and show that love and support to our own families, to our friends, to our neighbors, and to our community. So rather than have you make a Christmas card for the hospital or Ronald McDonald House, I am going to make your assignment today to create a Christmas card for someone that you love, someone in your family, a friend, a neighbor, and then you are going to do a flip grid and you are going to show me your Christmas card, tell me who it's for and why you chose that person. Now, speaking of Christmas cards, I was super excited to find this because y'all know how much I love the book, um, The Day the Crayons Quit and The Day the Crayons Came Home. Duncan's crayons are some of my favorite people. And I found out that they have their own Christmas book. So we are going to read today the Crayons Christmas, which I'm very, very excited about. So this is The Crayons Christmas by Drew Daywalt, pictures by Oliver Jeffers, okay? Now there's gonna be some pieces that I take out here and there um, to be able to show you. So you might see me pause for a second and kind of fiddle with the book, but it's just because I'm getting the pieces out, so. The Crayons Christmas. One snowy December day, Duncan was making Christmas cards with his crayons when the mail carrier brought a letter. Only it wasn't for him. Two peach crayon, apartment four, crayon box, Duncan's room, on the bookshelf, next to weird pen holder. From mom and dad. So there's the letter for Peach Crayon, and there's Peach Crayon. And remember, Peach Crayon is always complaining because Peach Crayon doesn't have any clothes. So it looks like Peach Crayon is wearing somebody's underpants. Oh. So let's see here. Oh, what a lovely card. Christmas greetings from Florida. Oh, it looks like Peach Crayon's family lives in Florida. And their card says, Oh, peachy pie. I like that. You always were my shy one. So I've sent you some clothes. Now you can give Duncan back his underwear. Have fun playing dress up, my naked baby, and Merry Christmas. Love, Mom. So she sent Peach Crayon some clothes. Oh, how awesome. <laughs> Peach Crayon got a Christmas sweater, a bikini, maybe if they go visit Florida. What is this? This is an underwater explorer suit and this super cool fluffy snow suit. How very nice of Peach Crayon's parents. Oh, they also gave Peach Crayon um, a Santa suit and a magician suit. Very nice. Duncan and his crayons spent the next day playing in the snow. So here's the yellow and the orange crayon mixed together and the orange crayon is saying, I don't care at all what you think. But it's a joke because it's a play on words because instead of spelling it carrot, 
like I don't care at all. They spelled it carrot, like the vegetable. And yellow says, I think this snowman's nose should be a banana. And then there's peach in the background saying, yay clothes. Feeling snowed out, but suddenly very Christmassy, the crayons headed inside to warm up and get out the decorations. So there go the crayons inside and there's the box of Christmas stuff. You know, I'm candy, right, Duncan? And you know you're supposed to eat candy, right? Because last time I checked, people didn't hang candy on the tree. 10 years in a row. I'm older than you are, kid. Now, will someone please eat me and end this madness? Oh, so it looks like we have a candy cane that they plan on hanging on the tree. I used to hang candy canes on the tree when I was little. I didn't, we didn't this year. Um, but it's funny because the candy cane is saying like, somebody eat me, let's go. Why am I on a tree? And then the gray crayon or silver crayon is saying, free at last, I was in there the whole year. Which means Duncan left the silver crayon in the Christmas stuff box. Also in the Christmas stuff box, we had our silver crayon, our candy cane. There's also a little elf, a Christmas bell, a star, some ornaments, a hook, and a rocket ship. Interesting choice. Maybe it's an ornament. The next day, as Duncan and the crayons decorated the house, they heard a knock on the door. Can I please not be on the back of the tree facing the wall this year? Oh, that's what the elf is saying. It wants to make sure it's facing the front. Oh, look at me, I'm a stocking. Oh, brother, I wish I had melted into underwear instead. So it looks like the little turquoise crayon melted onto the stocking and is now stuck to the stocking. It was the mail carrier with another letter. This one was addressed to beige crayon. Beige crayon, the box, the crayon box, top of the bookshelf, Duncan's room. Beige senior, Cranton, Pennsylvania. So it looks like beige crayon got a card as well. Let's see. Oh, it's a little index card. Let's see. Hello, Beji, my dear boy. I heard you're allergic to gluten now from coloring all that wheat. But don't worry, I'm sending you my world famous top secret gluten-free Christmas cookies and hot cocoa recipe. Merry Christmas and lots of love, Dad. So on this side, it's the letter from dad and on this side it says dad's world famous top secret gluten-free christmas cookies and hot cocoa recipe step one go to the store and buy gluten-free cookies step two oh also get hot cocoa mix step three follow the instructions on the hot cocoa box step four add too much milk so it's nice and beigey maybe add a marshmallow Step five, eat the cookies with the hot cocoa. That's the best step of all. And you know what? The next night they made Beige's dad's world famous, top secret, gluten-free Christmas cookies and hot cocoa. So there are the crayons making the gluten-free cookies and hot cocoa. Just as they set out the cookies and cocoa, another letter came in the mail. This one was from Gray Crayon, who was away visiting his family. Duncan's crayons, the crayon fort, wherever Duncan left it, Gray Crayon. So let's see what Gray Crayon has to say. <clears throat> Ooh, it's a new card. It actually, it has a menorah on it. That is for people who celebrate Hanukkah versus celebrating Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. Hey Duncan, sorry I won't be able to make it home this year. I'm celebrating Hanukkah with my family. 
If I don't, I'll always get a little sad and gray around the holidays. Ha! Get it? A little gray. Because I'm... Oh, never mind. Anyway, here's a dreidel. Happy spinning. Merry Christmas and Happy Hanukkah. Gray crayon. It's a very pretty menorah. And look, typically on a menorah there's candles. But instead of candles, there are crayons. Very clever of gray crayon there. And gray crayon sent a little cutout so that Duncan could make a dreidel, which is a toy that you traditionally play with on Hanukkah, sort of like a little top that you spin. And if it lands on certain things, uh, then you win little pieces of gold, which would be cool if they were real gold because awesome, but even better than real gold, they turn out to be little chocolate candies. And who doesn't love a chocolate candy? After such a great present from Gray, the crayons remembered they had some presents of their own to wrap. Very creative wrapping going on here. Love that everybody's helping out. With all the presents wrapped, it was time to go caroling. And so we see all of the crayons lined up to go caroling and up here it's written with little music notes so it means you have to sing it and they are singing Deck the halls with lots of crayons. Fa la 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 la. They changed it a little bit, but I like it. Just as the crayons came home from caroling, the mail carrier delivered a big package for chunky toddler crayon. I'm sorry, guys. I forgot there was a crayon called chunky toddler crayon. And <laughs> it's just so cute. <laughs> Also, there's a bite taken out of it, which probably means that the toddler that it belongs to took a little bite out of it. <laughs> and Chunky Toddler Crayon, I love that, is saying, Ooh, I ordered this Christmas gift online. That's how it works, right? You order gifts for yourself? It's not? Oh, sorry. Well, the good news is that we can all play with it and open it and see. And so this is the package that Chunky Toddler Crayon <laughs> ordered for themselves. Let's see what is in here. It says, The Great Crayon Holiday Race. The simple goal is to get from start to finish. You roll six-sided die and move a counter that number of spaces. And if you land on a special space, you follow the directions on the space and move your piece accordingly. Oh my, looks like it's just plain over here, but it seems like those are the directions. This is the awesome game that, that Chunky Toddler Crayon But I'm not gonna be able to get over that. I absolutely love their name. <laughs> There's another Chunky Toddler Crayon. So it looks like there's this awesome game in here that you can play and you're supposed to roll dice and then you land and there's different things that say, Picasso likes your art, take the secret artist shortcut. And you get all the way to the top. It kind of reminds me of Candyland, uh, but instead of with candies, it's with crayons. But that was really cool. So let's see. Finally, it was Christmas Eve. Time for the big Christmas play. Oh, it looks like they're dressing up. I think we've got a, oh, you guys know me in the camera. I gotta, I gotta figure it out here. Okay, we've got a chimney, a reindeer. And I think this tiny little person here is supposed to be Tiny Tim, who's from the traditional Christmas story of Christmas Carol. And Miss McCallion's new best friend, Chunky Toddler Crayon, is playing Tiny Tim. <laughs> wonderful. After the play, at the end of the night, there was a package waiting for them at the front door. From the North Pole. But it wasn't from Santa. And we have another character right there, dressed as another person from um, A Christmas Carol, which is Ebenezer Scrooge. It says, to Duncan and everyone back home, from Esteban the Magnificent and Neon Red too. And it even says via airmail, which means that it came from far away. Let's see. Just making sure there's nothing else in the envelope. Oh 
my. Hey, Duncan. Remember how I always wanted to see the world? And you know how Neon Red is a little, what, is a total expert? Well, Neon Red has been taking me everywhere. Here's a map we made of our trip. We were hoping to get back before Christmas, but sadly we can't because we're helping this old guy light his sleigh to deliver gifts to some kids he knows or whatever. Merry Christmas from far, far away. Love, Esteban the Magnificent and Neon Red, also pretty magnificent. So this is the world tour or the world trip that Esteban, and there's Esteban. Remember Esteban's name used to be C oh, pea green. Like a, like a vegetable that you eat. And this is neon red. Neon red looks very much like they've traveled the world with their sombrero and their Scottish kilt. But these are all the places that they went. They drew South America, North America, Asia, Europe, Africa. I'm gonna be 100% honest though so guys, this map is not accurate it looks like they may have gotten a little bit confused but that's okay they had a good time and look they're even up there on a reindeer fantastic gift esteban aka green crayon so let's see duncan was happy that his crayons received such wonderful gifts all he had were letters from gray esteban and neon red saying they wouldn't be coming home for christmas that made him sad and no one in the world noticed or cared. Oh, poor Duncan. Except for the crayons in the season of giving, they decided to give back to the boy who, oh, who had always given them love and respect and even a home. And look at what the crayons have done for Duncan. This beautiful tree, absolutely fantastic. And you've got Peach Crown in a Santa suit that says, I love not being naked anymore. And then you've got this here that says, Merry Christmas, you old Bailey savings and loan. From the coffee cup there. And then you've got, it's a Christmas miracle, the little bell saying. And we've got, bless us everyone coming from Miss McCallion's best friend chubby toddler crayon but that's beautiful and then look what happened the dog ate the candy cane and the candy cane is saying yay finally because its goal for Christmas was to be eaten and that is the end of the book I like that book a lot one because you know I made my new best friend um, chubby toddler crayon um, but also, because it's just a great reminder that we don't always need giant gifts and we don't need um, big presents and things to look forward to. Even something as small as making our own game together for our family to do, right? Or celebrating traditions of people other than ourselves making hot chocolate together, hanging up ornaments on the tree, or even just getting a letter from someone you love or a card from someone you love can be a wonderful way to celebrate the holidays. So once again, your assignment for this week is going to be to make a Christmas card for someone that you love you can make more than one if you have more than one person you want to make a Christmas card for. It's really up to you. And then you're going to do a flip grid and you are going to share with me. So if this were my card, I would say my name is Miss McCallion and I decided to make a card for so and so. And I did it because I wanted to make them happy and I love them and what have you. And then you can show me your card if you want. Okay? So. I want to say thank you to everybody for listening to our wonderful new story and that I am sad that we will not get to do our tradition of making cards for 
Ronald McDonald or the Children's Hospital, but I am happy that we will get to show a little bit of that love and support and kindness during this time of year to each other, right? Because it's great to help others and it's also great to show that love to one another. So everybody have a wonderful day, have a wonderful week, and we'll see you next time.